literally, um, I went sat down. She did one, and I said, "This is not stitch braids." She said, "Oh, it's because your hair's natural." No, oh, please. Like, I said, no, 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 that's not why. I said, "No, it's not because of that." That, that is it. not why. Um, my hair is like this. Like, no, you ain't got the skills. Sis. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, you know what? Just do regular braids. And then she came to come and do the, the next one now. Yeah, but I think that you said um, last week Friday, your hair is yes. out at the moment. Okay, so that, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Right, okay. So then she did this one. <laughs> and that's why I look like an avatar. I said, take oh it out. God. So I literally left the shop with my hair all out like this. Carried my oh, hair. <laughs> Never again. I don't want to say avatar. I'm actually screaming. I don't want any parts of this. Did you this. pay her anything? I didn't pay her okay, good. nothing. Good. Nothing. But normally I would feel bad. No, I don't like... feel bad. I don't feel bad <laughs> for feel bad? shit. No. I feel bad for myself because I should not have been in this situation. Honestly. I shouldn't have gone through that. No, I'm not feeling bad for nothing, mate. That's one thing. That's I have to let go of that spirit because my life, I used to feel bad, feel bad, feel bad. No. No, people don't feel bad for me. It's no. true, it's true. No. They'll just come and squander your money and, and you're that's there it. looking stupid. That's what I'm saying. It's the worst when you're like, oh, I want to do this. And I can, yeah, I can do it. And then the hair, and I'm like, this is not what I asked for. So you can, al- you can always tell though from the, the confidence in the voice. When, yeah. it's, when you ask them, can you do this? And they're and like, like mm-hmm. when I hear, hmm, I'm Oh, like, when okay. they say, show me a picture. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you're like, you show me a picture. And they're like, show me another one. I'm like, okay, right. <laughs> let's just leave it because clearly you can't do it. Let's just mm-hmm. not. For real, for real. Do you know what? Before we continue, sorry, yes. darling, um, let us do a quick intro. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. guys, I've been away. The show's been on hiatus, but we're back now. Um, <laughs> you can relate. Yeah, we're going to talk about all of that. Um, so, guys, welcome to another episode of Advice with Alex and Friends. I'm your host, Alex, and I'm joined by two very special guests today mm-hmm. from the No Shade podcast. Yay! So, I'm going to let you guys introduce yourselves. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's my own royalty from No Shade podcast. And it's Akia Aubrey from No Shade podcast. That's funny, the other day I came up with a thing. Because you know you always say, um, it's your girl, quit Aubrey. Yeah. I came up with one and I forgot to write it down. I I'm so down. It's okay. You know what, we'll come back. I had it all the prepared. one that's going to stick, oh, you'll do it, you'll do it. And of course, you can follow the podcast, Advice with Alex, um, on Instagram, Twitter. And you can follow me personally from Alexandra X on Instagram, Twitter, and if you feel like it's Snapchat as well. So, girls, I'm so happy that you guys came. Thank you I for really inviting us. It. Oh, thank you for inviting us. I really appreciate it. Um... Like, and I loved, I was saying, like, earlier on, that when mm. I met you guys, like, you had such good energy. Oh, yeah. we met you at, um... At um, Jets. Yeah, um, yeah, just to, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. live show. Live show, yeah, 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 which was really good. It was, it was good so to, like, sick. see, like, other people, like, put the yeah. faces to... Yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm an audio podcast listener, so mm. before, I used to watch certain visuals, okay. but now there's not the time. So, like, on my way into yeah. work, even sometimes... I work, I don't want you people to talk to me, so headphones in. Trust me. me. Leave me alone. That is me, you know. I haven't taken my earphones. I'm like, huh? So, yeah. Like, the thing is, I feel saying. bad since when I got my earphones because I'm like, oh, you want to talk to me, innit? Like, Y'all again with the feeling. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's obviously, but then when you're finished, does it, like, yeah, don't keep yeah, interrupting yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but, you guys, like, but, sorry. Yeah. Um, your podcast, when I started listening to it, I think I started listening at the end of last year, maybe like October, November times. Okay, and yeah. I remember driving into work and talking with you guys like I'm in the room. Oh, and that is how I, I knew I, I was that. a fan. Oh, that, that is so cute. Like, Thank literally, you. Thank I always you. do that with you guys. I feel like I'm the third person in the room. <laughs> I love oh, that. I, yeah. love, no, I, I, that I, I love hearing that. I don't know. I was stuttering here. No, that, that is cute. Huh? <laughs> I was still be freaking. Oh, I was like, I love, I love no, that. No, it was crazy because I remember you coming up to us and I was like, oh my gosh, like I was like, oh my gosh, someone listened to us. Like I know. it's so oh. weird because like yeah. you see all these like numbers and people like you see people listen, but it's like to actually for someone to come up to you and be like, oh my gosh, I actually like listen to your podcast. Yeah. Like, I love it so much. Wow, there's there's like, more people that listen but don't come up to you as well. Yeah. yeah. You have to understand yeah. that as well. Yeah. And it's crazy that why. people actually listen. That's the yeah, thing I still can't yeah, get it's over. Different, it. Yeah, it's different when you meet the person. They're like, I listen to you guys, and they're actually like they're not just saying it because they're trying to make small talk. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. They're like, I actually listen to you guys. And when you said this, and it's yeah. like, wow, it's so you really listen. Yeah. Like, it's no, crazy. it's very flattering. I love it. Okay. Yeah. We appreciate it. Yeah, it's we had good energy so we had to definitely have to stop by. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. No, I appreciate that. That's what it is. I go, we go off of good vibes, good energy. Yeah. Your energy yeah. energy is negative. Then we don't want it. We don't want it. Throw yourself in the bin. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, no, you, I feel like, 
this is going to be a very interesting episode. I think okay, so. Okay, yeah. Very, very interesting. Yeah. I'm going to start off with, like I said, obviously being on a, a hiatus. Mm. Um, I didn't even put out on social media that I'm on hiatus. My life was just discussed it. Point. <laughs> so there's no point. Like, like with me, it's like, it's nobody's business. I know what you mean. Like, you people don't pay me money. Yeah. yeah. I just come yeah, and explain myself yeah. as to why I'm on like, if I'm on leave, I'm on leave, innit? <laughs> I, feel like, yeah, I feel like something, I'm a bit on both in that. Yeah. So I'm like, just said, like, like, I want highest because I'm tired. Honestly, like, yeah. You know when Ovi was like, I'm tired. I'm like, tired that's yeah. my mood. And because I'm because I feel like that, I'm like, I can't even bother to exp- like I'm too tired to even explain why. Yeah. But sometimes I'm like, do you know what people actually because as much as we might not even think it, the people who actually look forward yes. to us putting out yeah. content. Because yeah, there's so sometimes like, you guys yeah. have not put things out and I'm like, but where is it? I yeah. don't think that people Someone tweeted me, what's <laughs> <laughs> where, where is it? Do you know what it is? That's actually very true because I don't I don't deep that you're putting out content for people yeah. mm. that are actually listening mm. and they're expecting something every week. Because yeah. it's like, when, it's for example, yeah, for example, when, when like, Love Island don't come on Saturday, we're like, oh my God, like, boss yeah. night, do you know what I mean? So I, sometimes yeah. I forget that, but at the same time, it's like, I am tired, you're tough, just, yeah, you're the team. Yeah. I feel like sometimes, because sometimes, because even putting out content and stuff, like being a content creator, mm. like you, as much as you can see numbers or whatever, it's easy to think that Nobody cares. Mm, do you get yeah, me? So yeah. I'm like, who am I doing a per- who am I doing a statement for? Like, Honestly, nobody cares. Yeah. But then it's what we said in that. People, there's actually people who like are actually listening. Even when I used to do, when I um not used to, I still do it now. YouTube and I stopped. Remember that time I stopped? Mm. I actually had a few people like messaging me like, girl, mm. like, and I was like, is everything alright? Because I'm watching it. Like yeah. I didn't know you were watching like that. Do you get me? But yeah. my numbers are very small. But. I didn't know that there's people actually cared because yeah. actually part of people's routine. Like yeah. how we used to watch Love Island and stuff. Like people are like, okay, so Monday on my way to work, I'm mm. listening to this, yeah, this podcast. Me. I have this Monday, time. Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. So if they go there and there's nothing, then they're thinking, so I'm refreshing. Kind of yeah. <laughs> I'm subscribed. So it comes up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then I just yeah. click on it. So it's like, oh no, but what's going yeah. on? You know, yeah. with you guys. And before I wasn't somebody that would go and check on Twitter to see what was going yeah, on. That's but yeah. now I'm on that, like now I'm on there, I'll just be like, oh yeah, it says yeah. okay, there's nothing this week. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I, I think sometimes as well, that. people because I think nowadays Twitter is like the community where everybody yeah. goes and searches some things to see like what's, what's going, going on. on. Yeah. So it's like a lot of the times I assume that. If you go on Twitter, you'll find, like, you'll see, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we've got a new episode, like, you can go on yeah. Twitter, like, so, but I, I guess there's also other platforms as well. Yeah. And that's the thing. And sometimes not everyone has the same platforms as other people. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. So Twitter's actually yeah. relatively small. Yeah. I think the best thing to do, which I kept saying I would do, is have a minister just kind of saying, on a break, you know, that's but I never thing. got around, I never got around to doing it. Yeah. But it's I'm okay, we have a full one now. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, but at least you're back, girl. Late. Exactly, Amen. you're back. Amen. At least you're back. Amen. Back and better and we move regardless, yeah. always. We move. Definitely. Oh, just, I'm, I'm even just thinking about it. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. If God will do it. He will do it. <laughs> Trust me, he definitely will. <laughs> he will, he will. So you guys have had your podcast for like two years two now? Two years now, two yeah. Years. yeah. How did you guys start and what's it been like? <laughs> oh my God, how did we start? It was literally <laughs> such a random thing. Like, I remember we were sitting in the library. We meant to be revising, doing, I think, essays or something like that. And then I feel we're just talking about like just doing something together. Yeah. And then oh, that's cute. I, yeah. We always get it. Like, yeah. we always got it. Like, you guys should do something. You guys should do something. Yeah. yeah. And then I just, I think I randomly just said, oh, what about a podcast? Because I'd been on the podcast before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah. And then we just literally were like, she was like, yeah, okay. And then yeah. it just went off there. And then we started thinking about like names logos. and logos. <laughs> we and, had some dumb things. <laughs> yeah, literally. We were thinking about the random. Like, we came with like Chardonnay. Yeah. Like, Next we're like, bad name. Name. That was for you. And then yeah, we were like, like, okay, but well, if someone asks us why Chardonnay, what are we gonna say? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. literally, so yeah, so we just came up with like random names and found a name that fit. How did we come up with no shade? I think Oh no, because we were like, oh, we first I have first shade. Yeah. And then you always she she's the one who's like, that's too much shade. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're like, okay, that's a yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a nice balance. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, and then we came up with like the logo, um, Okay, oh, we didn't yeah. come up with it, but like the ideas and stuff, and they had someone do it for us. We kind of did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he didn't come up with it. Okay, he okay. Just, okay. It, was he like just it was actually our idea. It was our idea, and then he yeah. just brought it to life, yeah. Yeah. kind of thing. Um, and then yeah, we just started recording. We used to record in the in, our, in my uni room. Remember that's when oh, we first yeah, that's started. First episode, first episode, yeah, on my laptop. In my, you released that? Yeah, yeah we, we did. did yeah. yeah, so it was Dear Black Men. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So then we recorded that. And then, yeah, we used to do house to house. I'll go to Esther's, she'll come mm. to mine. Literally from point like, A to Like, literally. And like, time. yeah. And then after that, we started recording the studio. And now we're here, two years later. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. yeah, that was it. Well, congratulations to you Thanks. for keeping it going. Thank you. I feel like it's nice to hear other people, like, that's had longevity yeah. as well. 
So we've talked about all the positive things. Yeah. But sometimes, let's be real, it can be... It's hard work. Hard. Yeah, it is hard, it is work, hard having, work having, yeah. having a podcast. What's it been... What's kept you going for so long? I think... Mm. I think for me, it's bad that I enjoy it. Because mm-hmm. I don't see it as like... As much as obviously at some point I want to like make money from it and do stuff like that. But I feel like because it's something that I genuinely enjoy. So I feel like for me, in terms of... I don't know what I want to do in life yet, but I feel like right now... I'm going through life on like a, this is a journey. Mm-hmm. So right now I thought I see it as like kind of building a portfolio kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So because I, I feel like my me genuinely enjoying it is what has actually kept me going. Mm-hmm. Because if I didn't, I feel like if you didn't enjoy it, it would be a chore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you wouldn't want to do it. Do you mm-hmm. get what I mean? And then your energy will be off and stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. So I feel like genuinely enjoying what you do is what will actually help you keep going and what, what it is mm-hmm. really and truly. No, I hear that. Mm. I hear that. And you know what? Even me having this hiatus, but being back here and talking with you guys, it's like, oh, do you know what? I actually I love all it. of this. But yeah. it's, I think it's all the other stuff that comes with it that people don't see. Definitely. Um, yeah. the pro- For me, promo, I, I, I need a social media manager. That's what I need. Because <laughs> I, I can't... manage a full staff. <laughs> <laughs> PA, everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, literally. Just come and run my life. Listen. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's that aspect of it. Because I, j- I don't do social media well. I'm bad okay. at tweeting. Like, I don't... Picking up my phone to tweet. Mm. That's not me, if that makes sense. Yeah. But I'm, yeah. I'm here for it. I'm here for everybody else's. Yeah. Yeah. And I will like yeah. and retweet and all that yeah. stuff. But me? Personally, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And posting, like, it's just... I don't know. I don't feel like it comes natural to me. Whereas uh, some people do do social media well. And yeah. that's great because you, like, build all the followers and, yeah. and all that stuff. And yeah. you're very interactive. I'm not yeah. very interactive at all. Do you know, I actually... I think I kind of get what you're... I get what you're saying as well. Because I think with me as well, like, when I've got, like... I think when, with me, when everything gets a lot, I'm like, okay, yep. Shut down, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. so constantly having to like tweet or like promo, and you've got other things that you're doing as well. Yeah. Like, you got work, like, it's just like sometimes I even think, like, I'll we'll put out a podcast and I know it's out, mm-hmm. but it's like because I'm at work, I'm not even on my yeah. phone, so it's like I forget yeah. to even like, re- re- like um, what's it called, promote and stuff. Yeah. And by the time yeah. I'm doing it, it's like five o'clock, and it's like, okay, girl, like, the podcast's been out for how many hours now? Mm-hmm. Should I mean? But the thing is, it's, ne- it's, it's never too late, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but that's the thing with me, it's like when everything gets to too much, I'm like, okay, shut down, yeah, reset button, mm-hmm. like. Yeah, but yeah. I do feel you on that social media thing because it's hard, you know. Because you got to do on you got to do on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Snapchat like Instagram. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. I feel like yeah. Lie. I feel like with me as well. Like I like social media and stuff. I just always say yeah. If I didn't have anything to promote, I would not be on social media because. Mm. And my thing as well with like with, with having a podcast is that like, you constantly got to promote stuff. Mm. But I take I hibernate in life. Like, mm-hmm. So when things get too much for me. In shut life, down. Or mm. I just shut, like I, I'm off the radar. Like yeah. you won't hear Pim or see Pim from me. Mm-hmm. Or having a podcast is difficult because it's like I really just want to like no, I want to turn my phone off like yeah. for like a whole week. But it's difficult because it's like I've got to like plan the episode. Yeah. I've got mm. to get to the studio. I've got to, I've got to use Google Maps to get to the studio. <laughs> I've got to um, promote the episode. Like, do you get yeah. me saying? I feel like with that as well, it's like that's another thing that's difficult is the social media aspect of it. Mm. And you've got to obviously be in a loop of stuff that's going on. So sometimes I just don't want to be like, I just literally want a break where it's just me, myself and I. Like literally nothing else to think about. Mm. But it's hard when you've got, always got stuff to promote. But yeah, I pray that we get to the elevated level where I you know when you enter it. the podcast, that's when they're giving you things that you need, and as you leave, you don't have to worry about it. Honestly, Honestly. Because Honestly. That, that is a reality yeah. for some people. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And I'm very appreciative of all the Spotify deals going on because yeah. I remember when Joe Biden got his. I think at the end of last year. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. When Free Shots sick. got theirs, I was like, ah, that's quick because you know you need a while for them to come yeah. to the UK. I was yeah. like, and, and then the receipts got theirs, and it's yeah. like this is an exciting time for Black podcast. But it even is. even though we think that it's quite quick. These these, been, these guys have been putting Grand in work. Oh, no, of course. No. For, yeah. I hear that. Yeah. No, what I'm saying is that the whole... It came together because yeah, to the UK. Yeah, yeah, America UK, gets yeah. things Yeah, they get it like five yeah. years later. Five years later. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, so they have their ears to the streets. Yeah. I think, yeah. Because yeah. I feel like even with the deals they've got, they've gotten, it's been in the works for time. Mm. We just didn't know about it. Yeah, yeah we just yeah, didn't know yeah, about it. Because, yeah. oh, yeah, it's been in the works for time, for time, for time. But I know what you mean because I feel like America, there's so much opportunities there. Because even if we think about, like, the YouTube, um, the beauty scene, it's they, have a, they, they get like collaborations. They're working with like people are um, buying mansions and stuff like of that. These YouTube, oh, you and know? then the ones in London, like they don't get anything. Like there's certain YouTubers <laughs> that can name right now that I'm like, they've been putting. They should have yeah. been like, do you know, yeah. I'm gonna name her like Jenny Jenkins. I rate mm. her so highly, but mm. it's like I expect her to be where Patricia Jackie Aina is. Yeah, 
Nevin Patricia because Patricia, I didn't want to. She's a case study on its okay, own. We'll, 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 no one, no one, want to go there. Uh, in terms of like OGs, yeah. the booster scene, yeah. Jenny should be where like yeah. Jackie. Yeah. I remember she was the first. She was the first one. She beauty one. She taught us her life. She taught us about like makeup. You know that bendy rollers. She taught me how to do bendy rollers. She always. She put us on point. Yeah, she put us on on so much. And like with her, if I was like. Because the type of person I am, if I was Jenny, I know by now I would have quit. Mm, I definitely yeah, would have quit because it's like... But I, feel like but it's I think yeah. she's also... You know, sometimes it is about playing the game. It mm. is. And to me, she doesn't look like somebody who's she doesn't involved. Want to involve she's not, yeah. She doesn't care to do yeah. that. And, but you know what yeah. yeah, but I respect that so much because mm. a lot of people... like Even like, look at what happened the other day. That YouTuber that was like um, being horrible to her dog on, on Vingy. <laughs> oh, and yeah. And you know what? Yeah. Yeah. People went mad. Let me sit up for this one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> because you know what? It's like... On social, on like social media, on YouTube, all the all the stuff there, yeah. The people that you're seeing, it's not how they are in reality. Mm. Because I know I've met certain influencers, and when I met them in real life, I'm like, you are such a horrible person. Like <laughs> you are not nice. But when you see someone coming like, hey, sweetie, I love you guys so much. Mm. And when you meet them in person, they're not like that. So I feel like with Jenny, it's, it's like she can't play the game. Like yeah. I want, like. I don't know. I feel like you have got to be content wherever you are in life. I feel like mm. if you're really, really hungry for success and you're willing to like. Sell your soul in that you're gonna be fake. It's fake, about fake. selling your soul. You it will really be at the top. Is. Listen, yeah. you will be on holiday with Richard Branson, bruv. Mm. But if I'm willing to stay true to my character and stay true to myself, I'm not willing to do that. Because really, truly, if Jenny was like, because a lot of the YouTubers this, these days is about you being open. It's about people seeing your pants. It's about you showing them Literally. every single thing. But she's a private person. Do you mm. get me? So she feels like I want to be successful, but I don't see why I should have to like. Have show no you privacy. Everything. Yeah, show you. I'm because washing my dishes. Much, yeah, show and then look how meet, much yeah. people, look how much stuff happens in their lives here. They can't go through stuff like they have a breakup. They just come and do a personal st- like a personal yeah, statement. Like that, that, what's that, Marion Musa girl? Yeah, like with a guy. Why should I come on air about yeah, that one? Like, yeah, I didn't even like. <laughs> that's why should I come on air about myself? Study, bro, because <laughs> I don't get why she did that. Why should anyway? I come on air about my dirty laundry? Yeah, just because I want to get sponsors because I want because in this and but sadly. That's the only way you can get far these days is if you let people in to like yeah. people don't have to mind their business. Yeah. And that's why people feel like they can see them. Cause sometimes I get like people, um, you know, influencers and stuff, they they're like, oh, people are too familiar. And I'm like, I understand that. But at the same time, you're telling people that. So if you go on like say for a podcast, for example, I've heard mm-hmm. some podcasts and people say this, that oh, people are too familiar when they meet me. They're like, oh, like they they crack like they're too they're too familiar with their jokes, they do and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but you've come on a podcast and you said how you did this on a date. You smash this kind of girl. You did this. So when they meet you and they're like, ha ha, da 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 yeah. Like, when they see you, like, even... Um, Keep that same energy. That's yeah. the thing. So when they see you like that, yeah, on one hand, I understand people are too familiar. But on the other hand, you, you told that, them the story. Yeah, you create yeah. that familiarity. You created, you yeah, created this space with them. You, wanted them, you yeah, let yeah. them into your life. So when they see you now in public and they're like, oh, is that another girl, yeah? You can't then act confused no, but when some, you've some told them on the podcast. Manners, some, some people yeah, some, don't have manners. Definitely, definitely. Because I've had some people in my DMs yeah. as well and I'm like, you have no, like, The thing no, is, my thing no, is, is like, if you, you kind of set the tone yeah. as to how you want people to treat you. Mm. Yeah. And I feel like, if like if you're if you're coming on a podcast and you're coming to do kiki, ha ha, you're coming to, du- um, what's it called? Do all your dirty yeah, laundry, yeah, 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 air yeah. out all your dirty laundry and the people see you and they like mock it like they you know trying yeah. you know what I mean like it's like okay but you kind of set the tone for that yeah. whereas if you're you know you're I'm not saying be reserved but you've got to know your limits yeah, but don't got, get me wrong balance. yeah don't get me wrong there's people who literally take the piss like they don't know how to behave when they see yeah. celebs but okay I wouldn't really call them celebs but yeah. no, in fa- familiar faces familiar yeah, faces yeah, yeah. yeah but I think I don't know I feel like as long as you can tell the person being genuine like not taking a piss kind of thing yeah. I don't see why it should be a problem yeah. Yeah. but I feel like sometimes they're like not even like people who are like big 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 because I've even had people like saying guys come to my DM and they're like really talking I'm like sir mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you don't know me from anywhere but it's because they listen to the podcast mm. and they feel like because when people listen to that they feel like they know you yeah. and I can understand that mm-hmm. but then that's I feel why like, I'm here saying talking with you guys it's, yeah, because it's, it's very you feel like you know yeah. 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 yeah and so I can I can empathise with that but then sometimes as well I feel like it's both ends and like I can't for example I can't come on a podcast and say you know what I'm a hoe you want it, you can get it from me. Mm-hmm. And if someone meets me, they're like, yeah, so you're going to get me some. And I'm like, you have no respect for me. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. But at the same time, if I, if I come and say a story now on here, and then you meet me and you're like, oh, yeah. And then you make your assumptions off the story that I've said, mm. then you're now coming to shade me or make jokes off of that. 
I can pattern you because that's not the angle that I was going with my story. Yeah, do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I feel like it's just, it's a balance. It's, it's, it's a balance. It's setting yeah. boundaries. And I think that a lot yeah, of people definitely. need to understand that there needs to be boundaries in place yeah. just because somebody has let you in. Doesn't like, mean sharing story doesn't mean yeah. that you can come yeah. in and live there even like, yeah. Sometimes the way I talk on the podcast, people literally think I'm like a real life city girl. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. people literally think like I'm out here in a scammer. Like, and I was like, that is, no, like, I'm the complete opposite. It. Yeah. But it's like, it's banter. Like, and it's funny that you actually think that way. Yeah. I, don't like, get, I don't get that from the podcast about you guys. I, I, I genuinely think it's because th- I talk about like how like I like I want a man who drives and that's or, not like, an I want issue. someone that's who's, not an issue, who's doing well off. That's not an issue. It's like some guy was like that's to me, "Oh yeah, like you come across like a city girl, you know?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, big okay. But and you come across as an insecure man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, okay, okay, but like it's Sad just having standards. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, yeah. but yeah, I feel like yeah, I feel like that's one thing people don't give. Um, they don't allow people to have um to have their own preferences and standards and stuff like that. At the end of the day. Different things are important to different people. Yeah. We've mm-hmm. all been on different life journeys. We've all gone through different things that makes us the way we are today 100%. and influence us the way we are. So if I say I want a guy who drives, that's you don't business. know the kind of work I had to do when I was some stupid, yeah. when I was cheating on me. Yeah. But <laughs> equally, it's your business. That's what I want. Why does that's that piss thing. you off? I don't understand mm. why that annoys you. If you yeah. cannot provide for me, then don't talk to me. That's mm. it. Literally. And a lot yeah. of guys like to punch above their weight and then the girls that they want, they know that they, can't you, they don't meet it. So they yeah. sit there and get mad. But the girl that's been chasing you from when you was in the sex, like year two, yeah. you're coming to you're, doing, you're, you're airing her, yeah. but she loves yeah. you the way that you yeah, are. It's, it's just a lot of insecurity because sometimes I just look at guys, I'm thinking, you're a loser, bro. <laughs> Listen. You're just a loser. <laughs> because I can't stand insecure guys. Like, mm-hmm. don't come on here and be telling me, or oh, like, this is what you, like, do you know how, how much I hate when people meet me and they're like, when a guy meets me and they're like, oh, you're this way. Where do you know me from? Where do you actually know me from? Because this is the first conversation we've ever had. Mm-hmm. So don't come and be like, oh, you come across as like a city girl. You come across as a gold digger. You come across as this. But mind your business. Some guys like to diminish, you know. Yeah. They, they do, some, some guys are so threatened by yep. a confident woman. Yep. And this is why I'm not going to transition into white women because let me tell you something. Okay. Yeah? Okay. okay. Give it to them. Um, <laughs> I have an issue with people who, if you're confident yeah. and I'm not confident, who am I to try and bring you down to who I am? Mm. If anything, if people are more elevated than I am, I want to be like you. That's how yeah. I am. And I think that that's how other people should be. And if you're not like that, then go and stay in the corner. Yeah, yeah. So there was this one particular woman at work. She's, she... I don't even know. <laughs> take, a, take a breather. Take a breather. I don't know where to begin, yeah. <laughs> Basically, she's French, white French, and her, her soon-to-be ex-husband is Senegalese. And I believe that her soon-to-be ex-husband has left her for... Um, another a black Senegalese, woman, another okay. Senegalese woman. No, okay, she, yeah, she's big mad. She, so she's big mad. Okay, they have a child together. That's not my business. That's not my. The concern. French woman has a child with him, or the Senegalese woman. No, has no, a child no. With him. She, the the, the white French woman has woman, a yeah, yeah okay. French woman has a a, a, child, with a child with him. And um, so when I started this job now, normally when I go into workplace, literally nobody's my friend. I'm cool with everybody, but nobody's my friend. That's Preach. like you don't need to know nothing about me because yeah. you you people are all snakes. The snakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one who feels like we are lit like we free I want her about that because one time I have to pre you for a long time I have to pre you for time nobody's your nobody's my friend because one minute they see you doing A they're like on your Snapchat they're like oh you look so cute you're not in work now and they're like it's because she went out last night on my social media no 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 don't come and ask me for that I'd rather give you my number than my social media because that's what they like to do I'm not giving you any email me I hear what you're saying email me the work email I'll see what's coming on Monday it's true but me I made the mistake of this one because starting like this new job and stuff like that I was like okay maybe I would just be a bit more receptive because okay. it is, I hear what you're saying, it is nice to have good work colleagues. Yeah. It makes the, the day They're nice. Easier. It and makes you it spend easier. most of your time with, with these them. people. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So she seemed cool and whatever. She's obviously quite familiar with African culture and stuff like that. So but it just, it just got to a point where I started clocking that every little thing I was doing, she was, she was taking it on board. Like, even this week, uh, when I came in on Monday, she goes to me, oh, um, Oh, it's a shame you didn't do your nails. I was looking forward to seeing you do like you doing your nails. What are you watching me? Are like you really paying these bills? Into my bag. <laughs> She's, uh-uh. she's looking in my bag with me. Like, she's <laughs> literally... How can you say she's looking in my bag with me? <laughs> she looks at me either like she I'm loves so me or done. she wants to kill me. She's proper staring at me. Where your fingers? She's like, who takes us? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you my phone rings? She's watching as well. And it's just she like... Right? She's not. She's not okay. That's not a question. She's, she's not. not okay. And do you know what happened, yeah? So she must have given me her number. Um, and I didn't message her until... Um, I must have like left my my laptop at home and I was like, can I borrow your laptop? Because she wasn't in that day. Yeah. So that's how I managed to message her back. And um, she said, cool, cool, cool. So I used her laptop and whatever. And then I um, I went away 
And I didn't quite like my workspace because I felt like it was really, really negative. But when she wasn't in for a day, and that's when I clocked, you're part of the negativity. Yeah, yeah, the day yeah. that you were not in. You're the problem. I, <laughs> I actually felt, felt you okay. the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong, there's other, yeah. there's other issues. But, but you, were, yeah. you were lighthearted Yeah, I was very lighthearted. Yeah. So I said, no, you, you're you actually a witch. You had a problem. Yeah. So I distanced myself away from her. She messaged me. And when she came back saying like, oh, she have I done she... something wrong to you? I'm here. She's sitting where you are. And she you messaged me. Message me. Oh Am I your man? So she must oh have said to me like how um, Eva, like I've done something wrong to you or you're in your own headspace. If Whatever it is, I'm very sorry. I said, yeah, I'm in my own headspace, but clearly... It was so you're going to text him them. back and forth next to each other? Isn't it? Like... Um, <laughs> and I look at her like, I, I text her back. <laughs> exactly, I text her back. And then she said, oh, well, ex- enjoy your headspace trip then. Huh? Which is cheeky. Are you my man? It, yeah, but no, but you know what? Imagine I actually was... Like, imagine if you're going place. through something. Yeah, is that what you're saying? Wow. So, quite long story short, uh, short I hotted her up about hey, it. HR, bruv. Ring, ring, fun day. No, HR. H- 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 Hello, HR. Hello, HR. <laughs> they didn't what? make it either. So, li- literally, I hotted her up rude. about it this week and said, because she, she left. She's left now. Okay, um, and I said, like, delete my number. I don't want anything to do mm-hmm. with you. And she came to come and, like, play victim. She went to the toilet to go and cry. Cry. Her fake white women and love to cry. <laughs> that that emotion like so this. this. <laughs> I can't stand it. Every little thing. <laughs> Every Move, day, man. It's so oversensitive. They're not oversensitive. Just twats, bro. Why are you crying? <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> what is cry worthy here? Oh, Even when they offend you, you should be the one crying. Yeah. They're quick to cry. That's so now you is. can't cry. Yeah. Cause everyone's thinking, yeah, but you're only crying because she's crying. Yeah. No. Ooh. No, when we went That's back mad. into the office, because I probably summoned her outside. Summoned. Mm-hmm. When we sat down, you could cut the tension with enough. Everybody could sense that there was tension. And she didn't, from that day on, she didn't look at me again. Good. And don't. I was like, thank you, Jesus. Like, I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Why well, am I not to cry? I hate, I can't stand it. You know? I don't think I've had an experience like that with a colleague, you know. God bless you. I'm very, very, I'm to very happy. We have to tell you to come outside so we can talk. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had that I either. Had that. It was just, she just, it. she just was on me. And I think it was part of it's finding okay. out what is it about black women yeah. that this man has left me for. There's yeah. nobody more scorned on this earth yeah. than somebody because they, they really think that they're better yeah. than us. Yeah. Do, you know what, not, do you know what it is? Like, I don't have an issue with um, interracial dating. Mm-hmm. I think that, I, I mean, I think love that she dates. Love who you love, I don't care. At the same time, the economy is tight, so I don't even know what way I'm going to go. So I'm not going to judge. <laughs> economy is very tight at the moment. But my thing, the only time I have an issue with it is when, say, for example, black men are dating white women and then they look down on black women. Mm-hmm. Or white women are dating black men and then the white women are not looking down on black men or like, oh, well, I've got what you can't have. Or mm-hmm. That's the only time I have a problem with it because mm-hmm. I'm like, first of all, sister, the one you got is one we didn't want. So... <laughs> You yeah. could have had him. Yeah. We didn't even notice he was yeah. gone. Yeah. We didn't even know you had him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the time I have an issue with it because I feel like sometimes, like, I don't know. I just feel like, even white women as well, sometimes they kind of, I don't know. I feel like sometimes they kind of try to overcompensate. Yeah, she wants to go and buy me Puff Puff. Mm? <laughs> oh my out. God, do you know what's funny? That actually, yeah. that actually yeah. reminds me, yeah, of a colleague I used to work with, yeah. I'm tired. She saw me, <laughs> she saw me eating plantain chips, in it. <laughs> <laughs> and like, okay, cool. I didn't even notice she'd seen me eating them. Why is it the next day she went to go and one, buy one from, from co- cooperative or something like that? One next brand. I said, she's like, oh, I saw you eating these yesterday. So I thought, and I'm she, like, got, she got it for you. Yeah, I'm like, sis, like, it's okay. Like, it's all right. Like, you don't have to over, you're Do you overdoing know it. Like, what's wrong with you? That's so cute. No, but, I find that so cute. I love her to be like, she's, she's one auntie, yeah, like, she's a white woman, isn't it? I love her to be so what? It's like... No, that's so cute. It's like, but just because you saw me eating it, she has to go buy one stupid brand. No, do it, do it. And if you eat nah. the banana chips or something like that, <laughs> what the fuck are these? That's that year, that. nah. No, no, no. That year is an elite love language. And that is so cute. <laughs> and the thing is, yeah, it's like, I want you to go for me. I didn't, like... I didn't know what to say. She's like, oh, thank you. She was taking a slight picture. So I said to her, oh, I'm going to take it. I'm going to eat it when I get home. When I got home, when I got into work, then they said, did you eat those chips I got you yesterday? I said, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm treating the bin, bro. What the fuck? What? No, do you know what? With Puff Puff is my witness. The witness is for me. Yes, no, do, you know, do, you know, do you know what? Yeah, when she bought them, I said, you have one first because I don't know where you're oh, going to yeah, do yeah, yeah. If you eat it, then I know that it's Where are you fine. from? Country? Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know you don't want to eat it first. That's <laughs> so dumb. Do you yeah. know yeah, I feel like sometimes they're overcompass and I find that very annoying. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Just don't. Like, like, you don't have to, like, you don't have to know. And I'm like, 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 hey, girl, 
Who yeah, first of all, and bye, like Felicia. This. Yeah, oh my god, literally, literally, one of the doctors at work was like, I will call. Hey, he's like, bye, Felicia, because one of the nurses came in in it and like she's Jamaican and he saw her and he's like, hey, Felicia, bye, Felicia. I was like, what's wrong Stop with you? Sometimes you have to pretend like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Stop it. Like, I'm just sorry, what's that? Like, I don't know what that Stop is. It. Word, but yeah. that's it. <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> so embarrassing. But that's the thing, when it's, it's when it overcompensates like that, I'm just like, you're getting, you're getting too, like, you're getting too familiar. Like, I feel like what it is with white people, yeah, this is what I think white, white people, what people's minds is like is that they think that with black people, I don't think they see us as humans. Not in a degrading. I mean, obviously, we're going to say we didn't see us as humans, but in terms of like we're very different. Yeah. So they're thinking they marvel. At they're us. nervous. They're yeah, nervous around yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they think, Do you know what? I have to let them know that I'm down with the kids. Like I'm cool with them. So I have to let them know that it's fine to talk to me. So when we when we're like, hey, they're like, one one. I'm like. I don't yeah. even say that because like, even like slangs or something, I feel like they research like slangs or something and then they come and like, do you get what I mean? Like, they just, yeah. I feel like they just do too much to try and let let us know that, do you know what? I, I understand you. Like, you yeah. like, we see each other. Like, no, we don't. We, uh, we, we never no, will. we don't. We never will. I can speak the English you speak. Like, yeah. it's not that deep. Yeah, you and also in the workplace, I don't think I've ever been in a workplace where I could authentically be myself. Difficult. And I think mm. it's very important to kind of, like, I want... I want my next workspace to have people that look like me because yeah. I'm tired of being the only one. That's always been my case. If I'm not the yeah. only, like, black person, then I'm, you know, I'm always the only black woman or the only yeah, black person that's strong, there. Strong, and yeah. I don't want to get involved in your, like, race debates and whatever. I play stupid and I'm you not You know what's going to happen? Yeah. Like, they're looking to you like, yeah, because, it's you know, they're me. really clean the blacks, you know? Yeah. And they're looking at you like, mm. aren't they? Aren't they mm. queer? Yeah. But, my face. Yeah, yeah. my face. But equally, yeah. what we're not gonna do is when you're being slandered for being racist, we're not gonna. You're not gonna use me to say, "Oh, I have one black friend." It's not no. me. Yeah. It's not me. No. Yeah. That you can marry a black a man. Listen, that's why. Even sometimes, I'm sorry, but as much as I said, I, you know, I'm not against interracial dating, whatever, whatever. But sometimes I feel like I hate when certain like when I hate personally. Actually, I'm gonna just say, come out with it. Mm-hmm. So I hate when white men move to me. I hate when they look at me. I hate when they compliment me. I hate it. Don't mm-hmm. do it. Because I feel like it's a fetish. Like, because mm-hmm. it's it's never a thing of like, you're beautiful. Like, even with the way they look at you, it's sickening. Like, yeah. when they look at you, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And they're like, oh, chocolate, so mama sit or like, yeah. I'm just like a mover. Like, it disgusts me. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. It really, really makes me sick because it, it's like a fetish. Yeah. And so I'm just like, I just really can't stand it because it's like, and it's not like you hear that. Like, it's like when you hear, like when you read, you know, those blogs that have like dilemmas and stuff like that. And then yeah. the the black girls like, oh yeah, my um my white boyfriend has to call me nigger sometimes. I'm like, why do you think that's acceptable? Why do you? Think because it's a fetish. That is like it's a fetish, my and it makes me my sick. My boyfriend likes to call me white, and you're still there. Yeah. You're still there. Even black guys go for it. They're, they're like, oh, they're white girlfriends. I've seen like some podcasts. I've listened to it, and people have written in saying, oh yeah, my boyfriend, um, no, no, my girlfriend, my white girlfriend, calls me the n word when we're having sex. You're an idiot. You're, you're actually an idiot. idiot. Yeah, you're, you're actually an idiot. stupid. Because it's not me I that you're going to come it. and disrespect. It doesn't make sense. But did those people, you're very lost, and it's not for me to come and like That's educate you. Yeah. It's true. You, you're you're going through whatever internal battles that you're dealing with. But you all can I can do is speak for myself personally and yeah. say to you, you are not my friend. You don't yeah. understand what it is that's going on with me. Yeah. I'm also not going to educate you on what's going on with me because there is Google. Yeah. And. Um, <laughs> And that's yeah. that. And also just know that there's not this familiarity, familiarity sorry, yeah. that... Because she used to do the same thing with me. She used to be like, oh, is it plantain chips time? Is it popcorn time? Is it this time? Oh, what mind do you your have bloody now? business. Mind your business. Why are you bringing it out? And I hate it when... I, she sounds annoying. I don't even know her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she, well, I don't know how I did it. Sometimes I'm just thinking if I slap now, they say I'm like... <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I was in a scattered place in my life. So this... Yeah. And that's even how that even happened. Because if I was 100% myself, have that would have never no happened chance. in the first yeah. place. Yeah. So that's what I have to say to myself. Alex, you know what? It's okay. If you were yourself. You know when you're like, yeah. You, you <laughs> know when, not, you, when you find yourself in a certain situation and you, sorry, certain situation and you're thinking, you know what? It's not your fault. It's not my mm. fault. It's not no no, it's not it's not their fault. Yeah. It's me yeah. that allowed you to get <laughs> to come, so comfortable to come to, me. to come be talking to me <laughs> today. But just going it's back on fault. what you said about um not being yourself in the workplace. Mm-hmm. I feel like with me, for example, you're like, I go through different accents from nine to <laughs> seven. <laughs> that I get into my house. <laughs> as soon as I leave the door at 7.30, oh, guys, oh, I just can't wait. Like, oh, when I get into work, hi, morning. How's your day today? Like, honestly, the difference... Do you know what? Having a white voice is a good thing, though. 
No, but you know how I'm Like, by the time I get home, my cheeks are tight because I've been fake laughing <laughs> all bloody day. And it's funny? not even funny. You're do, not funny. Leave me the F alone. Do you know what's funny? Yeah. I've gone through a phase that used to be me, but I feel like this shit, I've really become a different person that I've just... No, nah, that's still me, I've, man. I've had a lot... But I tell you, I've had a lot with life that mm-hmm. I'm in a place where now, if you're not funny, I'm not laughing. Yes. If I don't want to talk to you, I'm not talking to you. Mm-hmm. So when I go to work now, I don't... I issue out maximum three mornings a day. <laughs> when I come in there, he who gets it first mm-hmm. gets the morning first. Yeah. I can't be coming in here doing high-pitched voice. Morning, morning. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I can only do three maximum. No, I just do a generic morning. That's even nice. Since I just come in <laughs> and I have my earphones in, I, can't have, I come with my earphones in and I sit down. If I've got a meeting, then that's when my earphones come out. Mm. If I've got to speak to you about something, that's when my earphones come out. If you're trying to speak to me, I look at you, I try and listen to, I, I try and listen to you through what I'm listening. If I can't really read the lips, I'm like, I'm, I'm so like, I'm like, wait, wait. And what I do, I make sure that they see that they're interrupting. So what I do mm. is I'll be like, and I see you make, I see you make sure that I paused it. And I'm like, I pause yeah. it. And I'm like, so what was that? Just so you know that I've gone through a lot mm. to listen to you right now. Because I am tired of pretending. I'm not going to lie to you. It's draining. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I have to come home not only off my wig, but off that personality as well. I'm tired of it. So I'm really in a place where it's just like, at the end of the day, I feel like the way life is... No, don't get me wrong. Right, it's weird because even when I was do, when I said I was going to stop pretending and stuff, I thought I wasn't going to have like... I was going to be cool people in the office or whatever. Mm-hmm. For some reason, they like me more. And I'm yes. like... Okay, this is not what this is not the agenda. <laughs> but, because, no, but, but they like, like me more because yeah. I feel like they know also not now to they cross know you as well. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. now, yeah, when they're friendly with me, they're not friendly in like a dumb way anymore. Because before people were very, very familiar, too familiar. So now it's like they know where they stand with me. They like we make jokes, but it's like it's jokes that I want to make. It's conversations that I want to have because I'm sorry. They like. White people don't have to come in here and pretend. No, yeah. they so don't. I, should, I don't see why I should. Yeah, yeah. So I don't see but why you know, I should come in here hard, and pretend. Especially like you said, when you're when you're the only black person yeah. in that, and it's like, obviously, I don't want to come across like the girl who doesn't want to talk to anyone, blah blah. Because I feel like, like with me naturally, because I'm naturally like a quiet person, I come across yeah. like I don't want to talk to you or something yeah. like that. But when you get to know I'm like chatterbox, bro. Yeah. So so I try to like be. Like overly, like not not overly friendly, but like, I try yeah. to make sure that you can talk to me, kind of thing. Because mm-hmm. like, when I go in, I'm like, because even when I first started my other job, yeah, when I remember we went, we, I went into work one day, and then, and then the manager was like, so today we're gonna make sure that queer is gonna be open with us, she's gonna talk to us it's today. Not, it's not by force. And I was like, oh, so she need to come yeah, down. But yeah. it's because I used to go in there, I just do my work, and I'll go home like, hi, you're right, da da da. Do you need me if anything? Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm out. Do you know what it is? I and thought... then it's like, sorry, not to go over. So now I'm like, okay, do you know what? I'm actually going to make an effort. When I go in, I'm like, hi guys, morning guys, all right? Like, do you want a cup of Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> that one, yes. I can't offer to make anybody tea. I'm a liar. Do you let know me I'll make my tea for myself. I don't want to make tea for I anybody else. I also don't, I don't want tea. anyone else to make my tea. This, this is not what I'm I want to make it myself. Oh. This is not what I'm saying. I keep it moving. Hell no. That used to be me though. I used to make tea on a slide. Then they start this catching not... me. So now... I don't care. <laughs> you can shame me if you like. I'll tell you, I don't know how to make tea. I don't know how to make coffee. That's my thing. I feel like I'm just in a place where I just can't bother to like mm. do right by people yeah, anymore. Yeah, like yeah. when I say, I'm, I feel like because for even for many years, because even like, within friendships, like I will just all I'm burnt out. Okay, mm. that is the truth of the matter. Yeah. I'm burnt out, and it's a case where right now where I'm at is like I can't even force myself to be that girl, even if I tried. Like mm. I genuinely can't. Mm-hmm. So with me, it's just like a case of it is what it that like, you get what you get. Because even when you said about um your manager saying oh let's try and make her do this, I feel like people need to be more accepting of everyone's personalities because mm. at the end of the day like yeah we're at work and cool cool whatever but I've got a life outside of work yeah. and sometimes yeah like if I'm if I'm going through stuff I'm not going to let it affect my work but honestly like when I'm having a day where and God, sadly these days have been a bit more than I've been wanting them to be but mm-hmm. when I'm having a day where I'm just I'm not okay I'm mm-hmm. not okay I just can't come here and be forcing it. Literally. I don't want to talk today. Mm-hmm. Today, I don't want to talk. Mm-hmm. Because even as I'm sitting here in your presence, my phone is on airplane mode. <laughs> I don't want to talk. And those are my friends that I've been selected by hand. So how much more you that I've found myself like stuck with you talking? Like, yeah. I don't want to do this. So I feel like we need to be more accommodating of people's personalities. Like, mm. I feel like it's like, I mean, obviously you don't want people to feel excluded, but it's not right to fall. If someone's shy and that's not how they are, unless they say to you, do you know what? I would love to be more open. I just struggle with it. Mm. Don't force someone to be yeah, more open. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because even like with me, I get people do this thing where like, 
people see me, they're like, oh, like, I hear it all the time. And it annoys me, but I'm, I feel like I'm saying, I'm like, that's, it sounds like your personal problem at this point. People see me, they're like, oh, I thought you were horrible. I thought you were a bitch because you got messed in bitch face. Mm-mm. But you don't know me. But you don't know what you don't know what could have happened to me on my way mm. here. You don't know what kind of news I might have gotten. Yeah, you don't yeah. know what I could have encountered here. So you just see my face and you just assumed. That's why me, I go off energy. Like if I see you and you look like harsh faced, that's fine. It is what it is. But if mm. I speak to you and you're very rude to me, I can I can, I can I can I yeah. can confidently say you're rude. But you can't see. But I see people. People will see my face. They have not spoken to me at all. Said nothing. They haven't even seen me speak to anyone. They'd be like, yeah, she's rude. She's a bitch. She's this. And I'm like, you don't know me from anywhere. Do you get me? So I've also stopped in that. I Because I used to try and overcompensate and be like, okay, do you know what? Let me try and like not not let people think that I'm this, I'm this and that. Mm. But I realised that if you think that of me, that that sounds like your personal problem. Yep. Yeah. That has nothing to do with mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. I didn't ask you to put that label on me and I'm not going to work hard to, to, to take off a label you, you're still that you have put it on anyway. me. Yeah. That's the because you don't even know me. Mm-hmm. So like, you don't know me. To, even people that know me, there's only certain things they can say to me. They come and say this to me, but I'm not going to lie. You don't really know the full story. So that comment you've taken, when people say stuff about you, you there's two ways to go about it. You either receive it or you let it go. Mm-hmm. And if I feel like it's not something that's making sense to me, <laughs> I'm going to let it go. Not even on some, not even on pride, mm-hmm. not even on the thing of you can't tell me I'm wrong. It's just a case of I know the real story. Mm-hmm. I know why it is. You think I'm rude today. I know why my personality is like this today. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just can't open up about it. I haven't told you about mm-hmm. it. But that sounds like your personal problem. So mm. I'm just in a place where I'm like, do you know what? At the end of the day, really and truly, my job description is what I'm fulfilling yeah. right now. Like my job description is not to come here and, and be, be friendly. Body with you that's guys. not what we ask for. Because they're fake yeah. anyway. Yeah, they don't like they're each fake. other. They're fake, and then they, that's the thing. And then they snake each other any chance they get yeah, yeah. and stuff like. And with me, I'm not a competitive person in that. I'm competitive in petty things. Like I'm petty, like petty little. Silly yeah, things. no, where where the petty yeah, bad yeah, 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 yeah. I'm competitive in silly things like you know when you're in a relationship and you're like. I bet I can do this more, like quicker than mm-hmm. you. I'm that kind of competitive. But when it comes to like work, I'm not competitive. I'm trying to knock everybody down to get to the mm-hmm. top. Like that's done me. And a lot of people in the workplace, I find that they're friends with you. But then it's like, as soon as they get a chance to like be promoted over you, they're gone. That's why they get a chance friends to like, people on my level. Yeah. And also mm-hmm. like, if say for example, you're, you can be besties, besties with them or whatever. And the manager comes pressure. Like, do you know what? I feel like the queer is doing really well. I feel like, do you know what? There's a thing, there's a role coming up. I feel like I should be good for it. You just find the person just off with you. You don't know that there's a role that some your manager's said casually it's gonna put you up for, mm. but that person was there. And this is someone that's meant to be your, your friend, making you a cup of tea, doing this, doing mm. the, kicking with you, whatever else. And then now they're sna- now they're being states. You get what I mean? So yeah. I found that with people, obviously, I'm a very trusting person. People always show their ass and they always prove me wrong, which is cool. That's their that's their business. But at the same time, human beings. I'm very naive, but I find that human beings are not always the way they seem to be. Yeah. And I can't do that fakeness because you can always tell as well when people are being authentic, like when they're putting an act on or they're trying to force mm-hmm. something, like just stop, yeah. stop. Because if you saw me outside of here, would you talk to me? Mm-hmm. You that's wouldn't. True. You wouldn't talk to me. That's so, true. you know, yeah. sis, just keep like that me. over there. Yeah, no, it's true. I hear what you're saying. I feel like last year, at the end of last year, ah, God, God handed me God handed me what I needed. You know what? Yeah. You, know you don't listen to God. You know you don't listen. He really, really showed me. So I feel like even sometimes because my mind and I've I've been like kind of internally reflecting like yeah. um, that I have a logical part of me that's yeah. fully functioning yeah. and an emotional part of me that's five six five six years old. Yeah, mm, a little yeah. five six year old girl. And that five six oh, year old yeah. girl, I've, told, I've looked her in the corner and said, "You don't know how to behave." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But the logic in me, so if yeah, I'm going through yeah. something, the, the logic is always there, but that emotional bit, and this is the thing, like I will, uh, uh, if something will happen, I'll remove the emotion and go and stack it. But yeah. you know when you've been stacking, 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 yeah. stacking, it's now full, yeah. it now starts to, to spill over. That's why I said I'm and burnt it's out. really important to kind yeah. of unlock that emotional Unload. part. And people close to me have said that, that Alex, sometimes when we're talking to you, like we, we know you get it, but it's like I've removed the emotion, which might mm. kind of make it, not, not seem harsh, but like I'm detached. You're just straight to what you But that's yeah, yeah. my coping mechanism. But also, it, for the long time, for the longest time, I feel like it's 
been negative, negatively mm. inf- impacting me. And I feel like last year, what I learned was to be in tune with my body. Mm. My body will tell me if something is off. Yeah. Whether it be a song that I'm listening to, the certain songs I can't listen to on certain days, my body will tell me, no, nope, and then I'll change it. Yeah, yeah. Certain com- com- conversations that people have to me, or have with Ooh. me, yeah. I can't. Do you know what? Certain places, spaces, whatever it is, yeah. even just wig or no wig, like, I can't do, you can't. Yeah. There's certain things you just yeah. cannot do. I can't kill yeah. myself. So even when my brain wants to be stubborn, my body will tell me, no, nah, you need to right. relax. Yeah. You cannot do that. So there's yeah. only so long you can keep up for. And I feel I like see. as black women, unfortunately, we are not afforded to be our authentic selves. And yeah. a lot of the time, we are yeah. guilty. We feel guilty. We feel like we have to represent all, every single one of us. And we don't. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. We're not, I'm not a, re- a black not... representative. I'm yeah. myself. I'm Alex. And that is all I have to offer. If you don't like yeah. me, that's me. I, yeah, that's I don't it. represent, I, I don't represent I, either of you. I, I remember yes, when um one one girl, one the white woman at work, she was like, oh, so why don't black people, I've heard that black people, because I think another black girl told her, oh, that black people don't go swimming because of our, like, we don't like swimming because of our hair. That's not true. And then she's like, so why don't you, like, why don't black women like swimming now because of like your hair and stuff? And I was just like. Why didn't you ask the person I told you? And I was like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, like it's a bit random. Like she literally, it's like the first conversation she's having me in the morning. I was thinking, girl, I am tight. Like it's eight o'clock. Like, I don't know why are you asking me stupid questions? Like, and I was like, as a personally, like mm. I didn't go swimming because like, it's not like my parents didn't take me swimming because it was not really part of like our culture. Because yeah. you know, like white people, swimming was like one of their extra. Uh, what's swimming, it horse riding, yeah, extra ba- um, curricular activities, yeah. didn't it? But with like, I feel like with black people, and I may be wrong. I feel like swimming wasn't really like part of our. Not um, all of us, yeah. Not all of us, but yeah. for me anyway, swimming wasn't really like a thing. Like, we did it when I was in school, but it wasn't a thing. But I was like, yeah, but that's as far as I can say. But I don't know, like, I can't speak for everyone. Some mm-hmm. the black people do swim. Yeah. But like, you know, and I was and just left there. But it's like, this is the first thing you're coming to talk to me about. Like, it's just so, yeah. like, what the heck? And that's what I find annoying sometimes. Like, when they look at you like, so... All the black people, why do you guys do that? Like, yeah. I'm not, a, I'm not a spokesperson. Honestly, like, I am one I black person out person. of how many there are. How this? many? And that's not even sometimes as well. Like, as much as we joke, do you know what, okay, do you know what it is? You know what, when we criticize each other, mm-hmm. we criticize black women, criticize black other black women, black women criticize black men, black men criticize black, like, you know when we criticize each other? Yeah. Sometimes I don't like it because I don't think it should be it public. Gives people, yes, it gives people confidence. So I have been situations where I'm hearing like, Caucasians, and I'm not talking Caucasians, I'm talking about anybody that's not black. Asian, <laughs> Turkish, Greek, um, um, Cypriots, <laughs> white, Irish, yeah. any others, anybody that's not black, I'm hearing them say stuff like, oh yeah, black guys, all they do is cheat. It gets me so, I get so annoyed mm. because I'm like, first of all, I can cross black men you can't. That is not your place to do that. But mm. it's because that they get too familiar. So sometimes mm. I don't like the way we say this, like when we have conversations so publicly and whatever, because some people just have the confidence. The same way, like, you get a guy who's like, oh, um, you get like an Asian guy saying the N-word. And he's like, mm. my black friend said I can. Well, tell your black friends that this black girl's about to punch you in the throat. Yeah. How about that? Do you get yeah, me? So yeah, sometimes yeah. it's like, I don't like when we do stuff like that because it's like, it gives them like, uh, it gives them confidence to do stuff like that. And also they will look at us and be like, oh, so why don't black people like doing this? Why don't black do this? Mm. What? I don't ask you why all black and white people don't season their meat. I don't ask, I don't ask just I'm you so that. Dumb. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like, they don't understand. They don't understand. There's many of us. That's why they will yeah. even see us and be like, oh, because um, at my workplace, there's two of us that are like, Kind of, she's older than me, like a couple of years, but kind of similar in age. And every time, so basically, they always see us together and they're like, hi, trouble. I no, I don't like that. Remove I mean, you're the, the two remove black that people there. Remove okay. it. Remove yeah. it. I've never done anything that will make remove them think it. trouble. Yeah. And they see us and they're like, hi, girls. They don't, they haven't tried to learn our names. So mm. when they see us, it's always a like, hi, girls, hi, girls. Or they see that say she's, say she's in and I'm not in. They'll be like, oh, where's your, other, where's your twin? Or like, oh, where's your, where's your Just friend? Just because we are both blood doesn't mean because, we are twins. Yes, yeah, yeah. or like they'll be like, oh, um, or like, do you know what they do sometimes? Do you know what's always funny? is when they want to um, find someone and they'll come and they'll be like, um, so, <laughs> so I'm sitting here, yeah, mm-hmm. she's sitting here. But what they'll do is that they won't come directly and be like, Esther, she will kind of, they will kind of stand in like a, in like in a, middle. in a, in a middle-ish. Yeah. Esther, <laughs> hoping that I'll be like, Yes, because they haven't taken time out so, no. to learn who's who. And then we'll get the whole, um, oh, you kind of look alike. Or say she's got braids and I've got braids. Oh my goodness, I couldn't tell you guys. I can't tell you guys apart. Yeah, I've like, had that What are you talking well, about? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, just, well. it's just annoying. I used to it's get called annoying. Anika. There was this, um, like the first job that I had abroad, there was uh, there was uh, another girl there. We didn't look alike at all. She was tall, no, I'm do. short. 
Um, she was lighter than me. All sorts of things. There was no, yeah. there was no familiarity. So the head teacher used to call me Anika. Oh no, no, I think she. I, yeah, she used to call me Anika. She used to call her Alex. And then I said, No, I'm not Anika. I'm Alex. And then she started calling me Alice. And then um, I she like said that's passive racism. That it, it is, but you know, it doesn't finish there. She was like, I said, No, no, I'm Alex. She was like, Oh, sorry, it's because you guys have the you guys have the same hair. Wow, that's what she said. My name and my hair, really, make an effort. If you're gonna lie to me, <laughs> make it <laughs> make it good. But you know what's so funny is even though we're talking about it's just white people, yeah. I've like even now in my workplace, there's this Nigerian girl. Well, she's not even a girl; she's a woman, and. Like, do you know how long it's taken people to get a queer and, like, get it right, like, a mm. queer? Like, it's taken literally years since, like, primary school. Like, it got to the point where I was, I was even comfortable people saying Akua. Like, literally to the point where in primary no, school, like, people, people. people was like, Akua, and I was like, okay, do you know what it is, what it is? It was only, I think, when I got to maybe, I think, sixth form or something like that. When people actually started, I was, I was like, no, it's a You're going to get my name right. Like, yeah. It's actually a queer. I get your name right. Yeah, like. So, like, even at work now, she'd be like, Aku- Akura, Akura. And I'm like, where's That's... the R? Where? She's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, you're Nigerian? Like, <laughs> what the heck? Like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like, what you... I'm sorry. Like, what, what's, what's the meaning of this? Like, <laughs> but I just, she's married to a white man. I don't care. So I don't know, and then it's I don't like, care if a white she's guy like, Akura, 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 Akura. And I'm like, That's not my name. Like, and even another one, South African woman, yeah. I sign off my emails, you can see that it says A K U A. Why is that when you're, you're responding to an email, you put A Q U A? When clearly, if you read the bottom, yeah, you don't know about me. I email them back. And then she kept on doing it. And I was like, I was like to her, Ruth, like, my name is not Aqua. Like, you know, you can copy and paste it, like, if you like, from the bottom. And the, the funny yeah. thing is, to email me, you have to search me. So you search, search the right name. Yeah. But then you, but then you keep the doing Akua. Like, oh, I'm so sorry, I know. And then the other one who keeps saying Akua, she's like, I oh, know, don't worry. Like, she keeps calling me cat with my da, 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 da. She keeps getting on. And I'm like, we're all black women. Like, why are you all acting dumb? I'm accepting of it. Like, you're all acting just stupid. I even like, went back. I remember one time some woman, my workplace, I can't remember what she called me. You no, know, one, one thing I always get people leave the HR my name and it pisses me off. Because E-S-T-E-R just looks weird. Yeah. <laughs> but um, sometimes I get people, yeah, I get them spell it wrong or some mm. stuff like that. And I correct them. Like, I will send you an email and I'll do star star this. I'll say, oh, by the way, it's S star. I will star star, put the name there. And then on the bottom, my signature, I will then make my name size 20 fonts because you can <laughs> really see, you idiot, what it says. Because I feel like not get someone's name right it's it's disrespectful oh, yeah. it's me it's you telling me that I'm but not you important can't be enough to get it right no but you can't you can't be bothered and I'm not important enough mm. for you to understand and for you to try and get my name right the Nigerian guy would have patterned him but like you see you're an embarrassment in Nigerian society honestly and actually, you're the embarrassing is, what think, does that mean and I'll, I think that's what's her name I would really her name was Oni oh wow <laughs> her name's Oni I would be hey, like, not say too much wow I have to beat that out still <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's why, that's why yeah I didn't want to get dive too much into the whole Patricia Bright thing because I feel like a lot of black women who are married to white women think that they can act not act they think that they have to act white in order to get to certain places because mm-hmm. I feel like yeah people like women like Patricia Bright like when the way she talks on YouTube yeah I can guarantee that's not the way she was brought up to talk mm. do you know what's funny because that accent yeah do you know what's funny because now recently the trend is kind of to be more white African no 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 African and stuff she started off really white now in her videos I'm seeing her drop her African ad lib in there I'm seeing her drop her because it's a trend I can't now. Kill myself I'm seeing her drop I'm seeing her drop this kind of ad libs yeah, in there okay. and I'm like but when you started off sis you weren't talking like that you weren't talking like that even at the um even maybe Miss Sam might as well name her ass as well that's why I don't like when like <laughs> the white, the black girls are going at white guys they're like oh. My white boyfriend sees my wig for the first time. My white boyfriend sees Where African did this sponge come for the first from? time. Where or did my, you, white you relaxes... <laughs> <laughs> my, my white boyfriend relaxes. African sponge. My white boyfriend relaxes my hair for the first time. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I thought that video was funny, yeah. <laughs> I think I, I watched that one. Watch yeah, I thought that was hilarious. It. You're but... not going to make no money on my watch. <laughs> of but this I just like, it gets to a point, yeah. It's like, we have to stop. Like, what is so entertaining about. <laughs> There's nothing entertaining about like, nothing. Nothing. what is so mockery. out of the extraordinary about some a white man relaxing your hair? What do you know what I mean? But it's when they say he sees me Without take off wig. my wig for the first time, and that one too. 
or day of life. He's like, <laughs> oh my gosh, like, yeah. said, does it like say, and what like, happened? Just I wear still, it. I still, I still love you regardless of whether you wear a wig or not. Like I still love your natural hair, blah blah. blah. And then they're all there sitting giggly, like yeah. he's the best. No, he's not. You're right. twice, and so is he. I really can't stand it. Oh. I just feel like, you know, another thing, sorry, another thing to touch on, yeah? <laughs> it's like, I hate the idea of how, yeah, as black people, we celebrate things when we're, when we're accepted. So when we see like a white person in jello fries, they're like, we get excited. We see them doing yeah, I'm, 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 over over that. That. I'm over that. We're excited. I don't like that. Do you know that. what it is? When, think, when they see me in a sandwich, funny. they don't get excited. No, 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 it's I not think, funny. I think, I think no. that. I just think people think it's hilarious. Like, because there's, no. there's been a huge, there's been a video um, circling in a, of a white man speaking tree. Mm. Like and he's probably speaking it like so proper fluid and I thought Joe, this is it's funny mm-hmm. and I can see why people are sharing it because obviously it's not the norm in it mm-hmm. but I get what you mean in the sense that like why are we getting so excited but and I, I think like, because, you know, and I think it's more so when people are like oh yeah they're invited to the cookout okay so, yeah, that's something like that. I just swear everybody's invited to the cookout yeah by the way this cookout is this cookout is locked I just swear everybody's invited to the cookout I don't even want to come to the cookout I'm not coming there's not many white any small thing I feel like we're so excited we're so excited to be and they're not accepting of us they don't give I don't see them celebrate the fact that I speak English. I don't <laughs> see them excited. When you really deep I know it, just a little something. You know like, it really annoys when you, me. When you really deep it, yeah, English is not our mother tongue. Mm-mm. Like, our parents came over to to learn English. Because like, even in Africa, the way we speak English is not the way they speak English here. Like, do you know what I mean? So, they, like, we've had to really adapt in so many different ways, to even, even to the point of the accent of the English accent even. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, things like that we had to L- like learn and like adapt to that and it's like they don't appreciate that because yeah. they assume that it's a normal thing they don't appreciate thing. all is- that we carry like you said when you yeah. get home that you have to un- off everything everything we off carry my so much eyelash off, 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 my, <laughs> off my white off accents off my, oh, off my white <laughs> come on it's I'm tired I'm, I'm doing so much to accommodate come you on. guys I think that the thing the worst thing for me That's is that it. Kiki mm. and Ha Ha honestly it is I don't watch your shows I don't watch them. I don't know what I you're talking care. about. I don't know who this person is. I don't find them funny. Like, and it's not even that. It's when they try to crack their personal joke. It's, just it's not They're funny. It's so flipping ignorant. Yeah, and they're like, now. you know what I mean? Like, and then they give you no nudge. Don't touch me. I'm not touching you. I'm going to call HR. Like, this is a stunt. I don't know what you mean, sir. Where do we go from here now? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Like, <laughs> it is so annoying. I get home. And then the thing is, it translates to when I get home because... Like, my mum has seen me for how many, nine hours or so. And she's trying to make a conversation. And I'm like, mum, like, I'm I've been actually... I've talking all day. I don't want to talk anymore. And she wanted me like, can you help me? I'm like, mum, I actually can't. Like, I feel really bad because like, I'm actually really tired. I'm tired. I can't help you. I can't I'm this. really tired. Uh-huh. I've been talking all day from nine to five. Like, I'm tired. You know, I get home and I'm like, don't you people in this house shut up? <laughs> <laughs> Just talk, 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 talk. But do you know what? Work but, we're, but we're snappy at them because of the yeah. noise that we put words uh, in a conducive space. Yeah. When you come home, you would... Because sometimes, yeah. the thing with me is, I feel but like, I, sometimes I just want to get to, I get to work and I just don't want to talk. But I just feel so bad. I'm like, I don't. Because before I used to work, it was an open floor plan, isn't it? Okay. Uh, so I hate it's that. like, that's mine, but that's like, my business. But now, but where I'm at now, <laughs> I've, got my, like, I've got my own little space. Uh-huh. But before, when it's open space, like, you walk right into everyone and it's like, morning, morning. You you're right, you're right, morning. You don't oh, know like... about me. Mine has always <laughs> been an open floor plan, yeah? I come in. I'm bopping. I sit down. <laughs> I set my stuff up. Go get breakfast. Have my my herbal tea. I sit down. If you haven't got a meeting with me, you ain't gonna be talking yeah. to me. Mm-hmm. If you haven't got a thing, I'm not gonna lie to you. Sometimes people come and talk to me. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. You could have put that in an email, mm. or you could have Skype chat me, and I can respond to you. Then I am done. Don't look at me yeah. like I owe you anything. Okay, <laughs> I don't owe anybody anything. And I want to tell you yeah. the peace of mind. And this is not even just with work. This is like in friendships as well. Mm-hmm. Because I just went through for like I'm always there for people. I feel like I went through a, like a major thing in my life here mm. when I realized that I had like I couldn't say that this was someone I could turn to. Like mm. it's sad. And obviously my friends are good friends and stuff like that. But you know what? You just don't feel like I don't have anyone that can actually. Mm. actually turn to without feeling like I'm going to be a nuisance mm. and that's, that was the moment I decided you know what I'm done trying to impress people Yeah, I'm done being the one who checks up with my friends I'm done trying to meet up with there's people there's friends I have that I haven't met up with them I haven't seen them in a year and it's it sounds bad but quite frankly I really? need time for myself I feel like even I just with need that, time for myself I feel like even with that because with me as well I have like I have friends I haven't seen it in, like literally like I, I, think, I feel like I see them every birthday but yeah, like every birthday, that's, yeah, that's when we see each other. But even then, like, I just feel like 
we it's, there's a there's a common understanding. It's like you've got your own shit. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. got my own shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Life happens. Adult mm. like when I tell you the way I want to unsus- unsubscribe to adulthood, yeah, it's actually mad. It's but adult like, thing is hard. And the funny thing is, when we were younger, hard. we were ch- we were running to it. Like I remember when I was younger, I wanted to be an adult so bad. Like I wanted to. Telling your mum, I want to got my own first I'm bank card. Like I thought I was a big girl. When I, I wish I could keep that shit, but I don't want to pay the bills. <laughs> you can take it back. I don't want it. <laughs> but yeah, like just going back to, I just feel like sometimes like. As long as you both have a common understanding, like, do you know what? It is what it is. Like, I haven't yeah. seen you in a while, you haven't seen me in a while, but when we see each other, it's all love. Yeah. But I think some people literally take it to heart, like, I haven't seen you in so what, long. I, like, that's when I break da, up with da, you. Da, and I'm like, like listen. Can we are not like, married? I feel like the only person that, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't like when I have friends like that who are like, you take it to heart. Mm. Relax yourself. And also, another thing is that I feel like for so many years, like, so I can solid, I can proper say for 22 years of my life, I was always pretending to be fine. So when mm. I say that right now, where I'm at, if I'm not okay, I'm not okay. Mm. And I'm not going to pretend that I'm fine. I'm not mm. okay. Yes, I'm moody today. I'm sad today. Yes, mm. like, my energy's off, so I don't want to be around you. Mm-hmm. So when I say that, like, that's where I'm at right now, it's like, mm. if I don't see you, if, I, if, if, if we're meant to meet up, and we haven't met up in a while, and I wake up that day and I'm just like, oh, like, I'm not going to force it. Yeah, like, I'm tired myself. of going out, pretending like I'm okay, coming back home and I'm sad again. Mm-hmm. I'd rather just stay sad all, all day and then pick myself up at some point. Do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because when, when I realised that when I, if I embrace the emotions, another thing I, I set out to do this year is embracing the emotions and embracing how I feel. When I do mm-hmm. that, I'm, more, I'm, I'm able to bounce out of it quicker yeah. than if I had to pretend. Because mm-hmm. when I pretend, I'm putting that emotion to the sides. Then I go and pretend. Then I come back now. Now I have to go to deal with it from the start. And so the time where I could have been, I could have spent healing from it, I haven't mm-hmm. because I've neglected it. Mm-hmm. So now I've got to start again. Before I know it, it's now time again to go and put on my clown outfit and go back out and nah mm. I don't owe anyone anything yeah. and in the same you way that, you don't owe me anything can you repeat either. that again you I don't, don't owe, thank owe you. anybody anything and, nobody and owes you, you don't owe me anything and that, either that and that's fine that is the key to adulting because yeah, I feel like there are a lot of people who haven't quite reached they that pinnacle understand. yet they don't understand yet and when I see people saying I'm like you have yet to learn and yeah. I get that now more than ever and yeah. I get that I am responsible for me this is 100%. Yeah. if I don't open my mouth and tell you that there's a problem with me it's not for me to now sit here and be angry with you that you didn't ch- check, check up on me yeah, because it's a two-way thing. Because people equally are going through their own yeah, things and I've learned that a lot the 100%. past year that people that's are really yeah. going through their own and it's Listen. not for me to sit here and be selfish. It's when you get, that's the thing. <laughs> you know that selfish word you just said? Exactly. Because I'm just not i not very good at opening up and telling people how I feel and stuff mm. like that. And that's cool, but I can't... I don't ever... I don't cry at the fact... I mean, sometimes I feel like there's no one I can kind of call and be like lay on my bed that's because I've got this huge thing of I don't ever want to be a burden to anyone else yes. mm. and I'm very sensitive to the fact that people are going through their stuff so it was like when people do stuff to me I don't tell them how what they've done is affecting me because I'm like do you know what you're going through stuff mm-hmm. I don't want to add to that and I'm, I'm doing myself a disservice mm. yeah. a massive one because yes. we don't even know when they hurt me most yeah. times but yeah. at the same time I don't expect people to be there for me when I haven't told them what's wrong yeah. but in the same way as well I also don't like when I tell people stuff and they're like well you should have told me or to that. Mm. I'm like, now you're making this about yourself and it's selfish. Like, in the same way, it's selfish of me to think, to expect you to be there for me mm. when I haven't told you what's wrong with me. It's selfish of you for me to tell you what's, for me to now find open up and you're making it about yourself. Yeah, that's mm. why I don't tell people things. Oh my goodness. I don't tell people things. Last year, I had three mental breakdowns at the end of last year and there were certain people when I told them what happened to me, they said, it was like, oh, well, you didn't tell, and I didn't tell them again. That's but it. you know what? You know you know what? what? I'm not going to tell like, you anything again. I feel like I used to be one of those people. <laughs> I feel like, I, and I still am, I feel like I used to be one of those people where it's like, oh, I don't really open up to you, blah, blah, blah. But I think in when you really deep, when you really think about it in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's very, very unhealthy. Mm-hmm. When, you really, when you really, really think about it, it's yeah, unhealthy because please. like you are just one person. You cannot yeah. bottle everything and God mm-hmm. made God made us so that we, we have other like there's loads of people that mm-hmm. we can you know saying that we have we've got yeah. family we've got friends yeah. we've got sisters brothers whatever that we can talk to sometimes I feel like people just get upset when it's not the response they that want. you want yeah. do you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. but any day I just feel like you it's so important to you need to you need you definitely need to speak about things yeah because yeah, otherwise yeah. you're only doing you're only hurting yourself yeah no you're but right you know you're, right. you're only literally hurting yourself do you know a thing that I feel like I never think I feel like with me when I tell people stuff say something that's like affecting me or whatever mm. for me I'm not gonna lie this is nothing to brag anything but I'm a smart girl okay I'm smart in that I know own it child <laughs> I am smart okay in that I know what I should be doing when I make a bad decision I'm like Esther 
Yeah. You messed That's up. That's what I'm saying. The I logic know. is working in you. Yeah. The logic is I know working. That. You know what? When you did that, that was the most stupid thing you've done. Yes. And I know how to bounce back from it. Uh-huh. But my thing, when it comes to me opening up, is that I want to talk to someone about something, but I just want you to listen. Mm. For me, it's about like... That's why I do a lot of therapeutic writing because yeah. I don't feel like I can speak to someone. I mean, obviously, not everyone's going to understand, but I don't feel like the people under, they can understand, understand. Because sometimes you're speaking to someone and they think you want advice. And I'm no, I don't. Like, I just really just want to just get this off my chest. And I sometimes it's like I'm speaking, but it's like, I just want... I just want to know that I'm not going mad in how I'm thinking. Do you get what I mean? Mm. But sometimes people feel like, oh, like, it's like you want advice or they try to tell you what to, what it is that you want to do. And I'm like, I'm not going to lie. I know what I need to do. Because we didn't truly, as much as I can tell, like, I can tell you, say I'm in a relationship, yeah, and we go through, every single thing man, this guy go through, I can tell you everything. Mm-hmm. But really and truly, you don't know the situation like I know it because I've lived it. Oh, yeah, and yeah. also you're getting one side of the story. Do you mm-hmm. get what I mean? So if yeah. I come and tell you and you're giving me this advice, giving me this advice, you don't know the real, real thing. And I'm very aware of that. In that when, if I vent to someone about someone else, I'm very aware that you don't even know. I can tell you stuff, but you, I'm not gonna, I might not tell you the part that I played mm-hmm. to provoke that person mm-hmm. to tell me that. Mm-hmm. So I would just be like, yeah, he said I'm a bitch. Okay, but I'm not gonna tell you that this is what I did. I called him this, yeah. which is why he said that. Do you get what I mean? Because mm-hmm. not sometimes we don't always, we're not always open, open, but I feel like not everyone opens up to get advice not everyone opens up to get response it's just like you know when you you know like in the movies that or like music videos when they just sit down and just talk sometimes I just want to talk here and I want to leave that conversation right there uh, yeah I don't want to revisit it ever I don't again. want to visit it so I don't want you to see me tomorrow and be like so therapy. what's the update on this or mm. what's happened since then or mm-hmm. sometimes, it's just, sometimes it's just a release because I feel like with me like I feel like I'm that person I'm, I'm grateful for it that people can come to me and talk about stuff like I love that. I feel mm-hmm. like God created me with this kind of heart for a reason. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I don't like it, but sometimes I do like I, mm-hmm. I, For the greater part of it, I do. I love it. I love that. I'm mm-hmm. like that. I like that can be a release for people. But sometimes I feel like I don't have that release. Do you get me? I feel mm-hmm. like sometimes people don't understand me or like, because I know my character and I know my flaws. And as much as people can feel like, oh yeah, they can point out my flaws and whatever. Mm-hmm. I deep down know my flaws. You I know, know where You've been living inside from. your body. Yeah. Like, so you know, I know where it's come else. from. Yes. Yeah. So and done. I know that to deal with this, I know like I'm currently like what I'm doing like self-therapy in that I know like I'm pink, I'm basically I'm picking out past hurts in my life from like when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm one by one I'm dealing with stuff. I'm dealing with, and I'm the more I grow, like that's what I was saying that even about growth this year, mm-hmm. the more I grow, I've realized that every little trait I have has come from somewhere in my life. Mm-hmm. There's nothing I do today that has just come out of nowhere. Mm. There's a story. And that's because right now, I am now being selfish in that I'm not trying to... Obviously, my friends can come to me for whatever it is, cool, 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 but I'm not trying to be there for everybody. I can't be there for everybody, but for years, I I really thought, I really put that mm. burden on myself on that I want to be there for this person. I want to be there for this person. I want to be there for this person. So mm. I've taken a step back in that. You can always come to me. That's like standard. But I'm also now working on myself because I've always put myself back and always put other people at the forefront. So in doing this, I have now realised that the character traits I have, every single thing, every single day, I'm like, oh, this is why I'm, this is why I do this. This yeah. is why I say this. This is why I talk like this. This is why... I th- but I would, ne- I would never would have realised all these things if I didn't take time out for myself. That's why I don't feel bad anymore. I used to feel bad about not checking on my friends, not speaking to someone in like a month, not doing this, not doing And I used to feel like, okay, yeah, but if someone like, God forbid, but if someone dies, I'm going to regret it. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to regret it. If I don't see you in a while and you pass away, sad we could have had more times, but the times that we've had, I'm going to cherish that because mm-hmm. I can't come and like... I can't take on the burdens that I shouldn't be taking on. That's Do you get what I mean? Jesus died for us. This is it. So I'm now in a place where it's like, I've got to put myself first because how can I be there for you anyway if I'm not all right? Mm-hmm. Because I remember like... Can I, you say say that again, please? I can't... Please, please, How please. can I be there for you if I'm not all right? Mm-hmm. And I re- it's weird because I realised one, with one of my friends who was going through that this, this um, domestic relationship, not domestic violence, but like, maybe we'll just uh, dump shit with her boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, keep going. Oh, yeah. And so what it was was that because basically, the kind of person I am, I realize as well, I take in stuff. Like, I I take in energies. Yeah. Even when I'm, if I'm around someone who's in a bad mood, it affects me. If you tell me something, like, toxic, it affects me. So mm-hmm. now as well, because even when you said earlier about the same conversation you don't want to have, I promise you, 
there are certain, if I'm in a group of people and they bring up certain things, I check out. Because right now, that conversation is not good for my mental state. Yeah, your energy. It's not good uh-huh. for me. Like, I can't, because, and even what I watch, I can watch something and it would affect me for two weeks because mm. I've, I've taken that in. So my friend that was going through that situation with a relationship, because I, I, could I really soak up people's energies and people's like problems and stuff like that, I was going through it. Mm-hmm. My so, ass was single, mm-hmm. but I felt like I was the one going through this shit in a relationship <laughs> and I was really going through it. And I was like, over someone else's relationship. <laughs> I was here taking paracetamol for someone else's headache. And I was like, do you know yeah. what? And so we've had, I, had to, I had to stop talking for a minute. And since then, we don't, we're not like, we're not besties anymore. Like, we used to talk every single day. And that used to yeah, dream me as well. Some, some, I had to stop. Some people, and this is why it's so important oh. to be aware and to guard yourself. Some people see you and they're like, oh, let me offload onto her because she can handle it. And yep. there you are, carrying, 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 carrying. Then you now come and fall down and they feel lighter and they feel better. And, and I think I'm stuck it's with it. so important to have... Like, I think it, it needs to be, like, I get I get that, like, you, there's some people that you feel like, oh, can always come to her. But I think that's why balance is so important. It is, important. Yeah. It is so, so important. Because I feel like there should be days where you feel like, you know, I'm not going to lie. Like, mm. I know you're going through this today, but... I don't want to hear I, that. Like, I'm kind of, like, not in that headspace or that mm. mind frame to, like, deal with whatever yeah. it is. So I think it's just it's just important to be vocal and just say, Do you know what, like not today. That, that's why when I call my today. friends or when we call like my close close yeah. friends, I call them and I say, Are you okay? Mm. Are you okay first? Are you ready to receive what I'm gonna tell yeah. you? If you're not ready to receive, please yeah. tell me. Because you know what's mad? When I had my first mental breakdown, my friends mm. called me because this these times I used to live in um, in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. So okay. literally, um, I got sent home from work and I was just laying down. Like when I came in, I don't I don't know to this day how I got home. I don't know how I got home. Was it's bad, you know. it, it was mad. It was actually mad. And then um, I was laying there. She called me and she said, "Oh, um, are you like? Uh, are you okay?" And I, I just said, "Oh, I had a mental. I, I, I had a breakdown at work, but no." Just, she said, "Are you okay? Yeah. You just." I and I, I was ready to dismiss that. I did and all the time. Yeah. from that day, that's when I was like, "Oh, do you know what? I, I this is not this is not conducive. It's time. so easy for me to just yeah. chuck that mm. somewhere and just be like, okay, yeah, I'm ready to to, to receive that.' So mm. we've started doing that, and I think that's really important. It, it really but some is. people don't care. Some people don't care, and some people don't know the, as yeah. well. Yeah, that's. I think some, I think yeah. it's a lot of because I think in the day, like even like with your family, even with family members, like sometimes I just think like you actually don't. Know me, like mm. Jamie's, you know I but in a day, like so my mum was like, "I'm your mother." I said, "Go, you don't, you know, don't me. know me." Like you actually, I, said, I don't even know, know me. <laughs> <laughs> even though you gave birth to me, yeah, you don't no, know every don't know single thing that I've actually been through. Mm. So like sometimes it's it's also about learning. Like I feel like it's 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 about learning and unlearning. Like mm. you have to you have to learn certain things about people because in a day you can know someone for how many years, but you still really don't, don't, don't know, know them. them. So it's all about sort of being open to learning someone. Like, okay, this is what they. This is what this is what they like, this is what they don't like, or this is what things that triggers them that I know that, do you know what I'm saying? Or if they're going through this, this is the way, because sometimes, mm. like someone could be going through something and you don't like the way they're dealing with it because mm. they, they can be really like, um, like standoffish. You think, oh my gosh, like that's not the way to deal with something. Mm. But it's like, you need to, un- you need to learn that this, maybe this is the way they deal with it. Like, I feel like because that's we so don't important. take time to learn each other, mm. we're very quick to, Blame other people like, oh well, you don't like I don't like the way you do this, or I don't like the way that you're not you're mm-hmm. not here and you're not present for me in this way, or like do you know what I mean, but I think it's just important to learn people and to understand because even relationships, you could be with someone for 10 years and you really don't know each other. It's all about every day is a learning curve. Every mm-hmm. day you're understanding that this is what they like and this is what they don't like, and this is certain things that they how they deal with things and how yeah. to approach things. And accepting people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and my understand. thing, I've always been big on delivery. Like, as long as you know how to deliver something to someone. There's no way they can take it like, yeah, do you know what I mean? To yeah. take it in a, in, a, in another way. Yeah. But I just think it's about unlearning and learning and unlearning. Unlearning the things that you know is not good mm-hmm. about yourself and learning to understand the way that other people are. Because mm-hmm. it could be due to loads of things, due to culture, the way they were brought up, That's things that have happened in their past lives. Like, so you just got to learn, like yeah. just be open to learning about and other people. And not taking things personally. Because yeah. really, oh it's really not gosh. about you. Yeah, a lot 100%. of people navigate through life Big, their head is bigger yeah. than the world because you want to make everything about you. If you do that, you're going yeah. to, you're going to kill you're yourself prematurely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're That's actually going to die because yeah. every small thing, oh yeah, she looked at me like that. Who said it's got anything to do, do with, with you? you? Yeah, it's so true. That's what I always tell people. It's like, so true. There's always, I feel like, I feel like people just go through shit. Like, mm. Even as much as we think that, okay, maybe someone's going through depression, like, 
there's levels to the things mm. that people are going through. Like sometimes when you hear people's stories, it's like, how are you walking? Mm. Like how are you actually living? Like I can't mm-hmm. imagine if that was me. If I was in your shoes and I was going through the things that you're going through, but it's what you said is that we don't learn each other. Mm. So I feel like even like because I'm very, I don't talk about like stuff I'm going through and stuff like that. But this year I've kind of set out to kind of be more, try and be as more more vocal than I, I usually mm-hmm. am. Mm-hmm. So with me, I struggle to kind of express myself vocally. So if I have an issue with someone, I struggle, I'd rather just send you a text. I'd rather mm-hmm. just, I'm better writing, expressing, I'm better expressing myself mm-hmm. in writing than I am vocally. And mm-hmm. I used to people be like, oh, just talk about it. And it's like, it used to know me because it's like, you're so flippant in the way you're saying, talk about it. Talk, but you don't understand why it is that I'm unable to do that. Do you mm-hmm. get me? But it's like, I'm, I can't, I'm, I'm not going to open up and, and I, I can't, tell you why it is because that's another wound I have to open up mm. but it's like we need to understand that when people are the way they are it's for a reason do you get what I mean like I don't wake mm. up who wants to make life difficult for themselves for no reason I don't wake up thinking I just want to be difficult mm. or I just want to be this it's like you need to be more understanding of the fact that you know what you're this way because of this and I started living in a way of do you know what I'm not going to take it personally certain things obviously I got to take personally because <laughs> you're a fool yeah. but most things when people when people do stuff I'm like do you know what I'm not going to take it personally because mm. It's like if I speak to someone and they um, say like they're all right to me, you're not usually like that. But today I can tell something's off. Mm. I can't, it's selfish of me to say that personally because mm. I don't know what's happened to you today. Mm. Family, wise I don't know what's going on. You might not want to, because I trust me, I've been through some stuff that no one will ever know. Mm. I've been through some stuff sort of personally, maybe my mom will never know. I've been through some stuff where my friends would not know where it's just my family that know. Do you mm. get what I mean? So you never know what people are going through mm. for you to make it about yourself. Like it's just so unfair and it's just it's just not a right way to live. And it's like you make people feel bad because I used to feel bad about so much. And mm. you make people feel bad for for what they're going through. Because I used to feel like I felt bad that I needed friend that I needed someone to be there for me because I wasn't there. That's my friend was also always on Do Not Disturb. That's how Do Not Disturb my friend started. Till this day, I'm on Do Not Disturb mm-hmm. because it felt like, and I used to feel bad. I used to feel mm-hmm. bad about being on Do Not Disturb because I feel like I just needed a moment. Like, I needed a moment to clear my head mm-hmm. and I'll miss course my friends or whatever. Then, because I need a moment to clear my head, yeah, I'm now feeling bad that I wasn't there for them when they called mm-hmm. me. Do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it was, I just felt like it was a cycle, a constant cycle, and I'll have a breakdown. I'll have a breakdown. And when I have a breakdown, I'm really, really down. Mm. So now I found that the healthy way for me is to take breaks constantly yeah. rather than wait for it to pile up, pile up, and then I have one massive breakdown yeah. and I just feel shit by myself for like weeks. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just crazy, man. Yeah. Being in tune with yourself. It's well, so important. So I want to end on a positive note. Yes. Um, it's a heavy podcast. <laughs> no, but you know what? It, it, it's, it's, it's important. And I feel like a lot of people be going yeah. through the same thing at the same time. Um, but yeah, we don't talk about, it. Talk about it. it. So it's really, really important to like just have an open up and have an yeah, open space. Look at how we went off on a tangent, but it's all a beautiful thing. This is what was meant to happen today. Mm-hmm. All right then. Um, <laughs> so again, thank you very much, both of you, for coming That's today. So I, I want, I want, and, um, last week, my, my friend, she has a book out called This Is Us Black okay. British Women and Girls. Ooh, it's a beautiful that. book. I've written in there. My little sisters have written in there. Oh, wow. That was a very therapeutic process for me as well. Oh, that's great. Cool. Um, but we had like a meetup of some of the, the women that wrote in the book. And um, there were affirmation cards. Okay. So I want you to kind of leave. And uh, my affirmation card, everybody's affirmation card spoke to them. Okay. <laughs> everybody's affirmation that's card good. spoke to them. I swear to God. Yeah. Uh, listen, so I want us to leave something positive that maybe we'll do in a week. Or if, even if you don't get it done, like just mm. something positive that you want to leave here before we go on and continue the rest of our, our day or weekend or I don't week. know. Something, or just even something nice or something, I don't know, like it could be something nice that happened to you in the week, something nice you want to do. It could even be like, oh yeah, I want to go and get, I don't know, my nails done or wh- whatever it is. Just something positive to look forward to or something nice about yourself. <laughs> no. I don't know. Do you know what? Honestly. I think I think for me, I'd definitely say I think I need some me time, like me time. Like I think mm-hmm. I need to take myself some, like, like I know, like treat myself like it's another spa day. Like I just need yeah. some. Yeah. Because I feel like in the past couple of weeks and months, I've been so busy. Like it's been a lot going on. Yeah, it's been a lot going on. Like yeah. like just like I feel like Monday to Sunday, I'm always doing something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think I need to take time and just have a little one or two day. Just just book rest it. when you're leaving. Book it. Just rest and just yeah. chill and relax because I've been doing the most. Yeah, you deserve <laughs> it, girl. Um, yeah, I think with mine, I feel like with mine, it's something that's been happening recently. But I hope I don't jinx it now. But basically, recently, I've been, I feel like I've been really, really... Um, I'm kind of... I'm liking the person I am. That's good. Because I, I, I kind of went for a fix. I go through like... You know when women are bodies and whatever? Sometimes mm-hmm. you like yourself how you look. Sometimes you don't like yourself. But I feel like recently, I have been seeing 
my beauty, but not just, not outside, from like within. Mm-hmm. So when I look in the mirror... That's when you're the most beautiful. Listen. When it's inside. When it's inside. You wear this aura. You actually wear... It's like yeah. a perfume. And it's the same. People can smell yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So recently, I've found that, even though like I'm still going through like, I'm still going through stuff or whatever, but in the grand scheme of things, when I look in the mirror, like even if I'm crying, when I look in the mirror, I see... I don't look, I don't cry and stare in the mirror, by the way. <laughs> like, how good do I look crying? <laughs> well, like, I'm just saying, like, even in my lowest, lowest and lowest of days, mm-hmm. I look in the mirror and I see the beauty within me. Amen. Like, it's so, I can't explain it. It's so weird for me to explain. But I feel like with beauty, it's like, it's usually more of like the outside, the outside, the outside. But inside recently, is important, but some people's souls so are so ugly. Inside is so dead important. Inside. Honestly. Like it's, I think Rotten. of it as like a dead, you know, like a dead rose and it's just withered and just black and mm. just withered away. So recently, I've really been seeing the beauty within me that like, mm. even like weirdly enough, like the other day I was like upset and whatever. But when I looked, like when I saw my reflection, I just saw beauty. Like I That's I can good. see like, I can see better for myself mm-hmm. and it gets me, it re- really makes me excited. I feel like I've been on such a weird journey mm-hmm. And like I'm just trying to heal from so much, mm-hmm. but in that I'm starting to see the light, like coming through. Mm-hmm. So that's my positive thing. Well, that's oh, that's beautiful. That's that's beautiful. Um, I think for me, I'm going to be prideful in my achievements. Yes, you need to prideful be prideful in what I'm doing now because yes. right now I'm I'm in the spirit of being lost, and yeah. I'm prideful for what's going to happen to me in the future because I know yeah. that God has always carried me through and He's not going to leave me now. Amen. And I think yeah. that I like to overcompensate sometimes yeah. because it's like, oh, I'm doing this, this, and this, but it's like, no, relax. Actually, you you know you're you're doing okay. Um, yeah. so I think for me that's something that I need to do moving forward. Just being yeah. prideful, girls. Thank you again. Where thank can everybody find us? you? <laughs> Um, you can find us um, at No Shed Pod on Instagram, SoundCloud, Twitter, um, Spotify, Apple Podcast. <laughs> yeah. You can find All me. Of them. <laughs> you can find me. Akia Aubrey underscore on Instagram and Twitter. And you can find me at my own royalty on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Yes. Beautiful. And of course, you can follow the podcast, Vice with Alex and Friends, on Instagram. Twitter and you can follow me personally from Alexandra X Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat as well guys that's it until thank next time thanks for having us we're going to have you on next thank you it was beautiful <laughs>